Why does Google have over 4 billion active users? Well, it's simple. Google has created one of the most user-friendly browsers and a user-friendly business platform called the Google Workspace. In this video, I'm gonna give you a full tour of the Google Workspace and why it's going to be the best decision for you to build your business through Google. Follow me. Real quick before we hop into this video, for all of those who are new to the whole business building journey, I put together a free resource for you, the Business Grocery List. It's a full comprehensive list and cost breakdown of the need to knows and need to haves. It'll be an incredible tool and an incredible reference for all these videos coming up on this channel. So make sure to download that, take a peek, and it'll give you real practical steps on everything that you need to do to start your business. We'll see you in the video. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Google Workspace Tour. I'm going to need you to keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. We're going to be rolling fast, and I do not want anyone to be left behind. With that being said, we're going to hop right into it. All these different perks right here, we're going to break them all down for you. Um, starting with my business. Now, my business might not be so relevant if you have an online business. This is the spot where you go to register your physical location. So if you were a bakery, you would register here. And when somebody goes to look you up on Google, then your information will pop up, your address, your phone number. But that isn't going to necessarily be all that relevant right now. Next, we have Gmail. Obviously, we all know about Gmail. That's just where you keep your emails. Cool. Drive. Now, Google Drive is going to be the place where all of your documents, presentations, websites, landing pages, all of your physical copies and documents are going to be stored so that you are able to keep everything organized. If you go over here to new, you can upload folders, you can create new folders, you can create documents, sheets, slides, and you can also create the Google websites right here, which we are going to get into in just a moment. Next, we have Docs. Now, Google Docs are going to be similar to Word documents that you can create. And as you can see, we have lots and lots of templates here for you to create and customize. There's lots of resumes, uh, letters, um, all these different templates that you can use to customize and create any sort of document, all right? And the same thing with sheets, you can create spreadsheets here. Slides are similar to PowerPoint presentations. Calendar is simply your Google Calendar, very straightforward, no need to explain that. Chat, chat is a way for you to communicate with your Google friends. Chat is a great way to streamline and organize work sessions with your colleagues. As you can see, we can go to rooms right here. We can create a room name and we can add different people to our chat here so that we can create a streamlined, organized group workspace, okay? Meet, Meet is basically like Zoom, but for Google, if we go inside of Meet. So just like Zoom, Google Meet gives you the opportunity and ability to audio and video call with multiple people. It's a great way uh, to bypass Zoom if you just wanna keep everything streamlined and organized. And once you create these meetings, it goes straight onto your Google Calendar. So everything is streamlined and organized for you. Forms. As you can see here, Google Forms has a bunch of different templates that you can use to create different things like job applications. There's polls on here. You can create party invites. Uh, you can create contact information. There's so many different forms that you can customize and create for whatever your business might need. This is another cool customizable option that comes with the Google Workspace. Currents. So Google Currents is a digital bulletin board essentially for your business. So this allows you to create updates, allows you to create posts and interact with other colleagues inside of your organization. Once you and your team are inside of here, you can create posts, you can create updates, people can comment, people can uh, share it, people can edit it. And uh, it's a great way to streamline information to keep it in front of people's faces. Google Sites. Google Sites is going to be the place where you go to build your website and build your landing pages. Google Sites gives you unlimited amount of websites and unlimited amount of landing pages that you can build. And they're incredibly easy to build. And in the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build your own website. As you can see, there's a lot of different templates here. That is Google Sites. Google Contacts, obviously this is a place to go to put in contact information. 
Google Groups. Google Groups is the hub to go to to create email groups, all right? So if I have a bunch of clients, I can put them into my Google Group and I can send out one email and they will all get it. If I have some colleagues on my team, I will create a colleague group and inside of that group, I can send one email and they will all get the email, all right? So Google Groups, you can consolidate each of your different group and categories inside of your business to shoot specific email notifications, all right? YouTube, obviously we know what that is. Google Maps, we all know what that is. Google News, basically just a news outlet for you to get up to date real news. Google Ads is where we are going to launch our ads. Inside of Google Ads here, we are able to launch YouTube ads. We're able to do Google Ads. There's a lot of different functions within Google Ads. We can get into that in another video. Photos. Google Photos is a 30 gigabyte vault where you can keep all of your photos. If you need to transfer it from your phone, transfer it from whatever source, you can keep it locked up here in Google Photos. Inside of Google Photos, you can also order prints, whether it's a photo book, whether you just need some rough copies for a photo album, or whether you want to frame and create cool little wall displays like this. That is one of the functions of Google Photos. Google Translate, you can type in a foreign word and translate it to English, vice versa. Google Vault, unfortunately, I cannot click on this because this is where all of your private information is stored. Inside here, you'll be able to access passwords, you'll be able to access codes and everything that you need on the back end of your business. All right, admin console right here is going to be, I can't click on this as well just because there's private information on the other side, but admin is where you're going to be able to control how you operate within your Google workspace. And there's a lot of different customized functions inside of that to make sure that your Google workspace is streamlined and organized. Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is basically like a big old group chat. Messaging and video calls. Um, basically, you add your friends into here and you can connect with them and sync files and forms and, uh, and talk with anybody pretty much on the Google platform. All right. So I can enter a contact. I can enter a name or an email or I can start a new group, group chat and start a new conversation. I can invite people um, and basically I can keep a whole conversation and group chats organized inside of Google Hangouts. Google Keep. Google Keep is a glorified note and reminder vault. You can create reminders in here about certain events or specific uh, goals or deadlines. You can create you can create new lists in which you can create uh, new notes or reminders. You can collaborate with people to create a note or an important document. I don't use Google Keep that much. As you can tell, it's blank. There's nothing in here. But I imagine it would be pretty useful uh, if you were to have other colleagues or other coworkers and, and associates that you are creating content with and want to keep all streamlined and organized in one place. Google Jamboard. Now, Google Jamboard is a glorified whiteboard that you can use to collaborate ideas with people in real time. As you can tell, there's a theme here. Google is making it user friendly, making it easy as possible to collaborate ideas with people, to share thoughts and ideas and, and get it all down in one place. Inside of here, you, you can draw, you can add photos, you can add sticky notes, you can add shapes, you can add text, and you have a laser as well. Boom, boom. <laughs> And if you want to go to a new fresh page, but still keep the progress, you can go click there and you can start another page uh, for your Jamboard. All right. Now there's cloud search, which I'm not quite sure what cloud search does. And if I click on it, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go anywhere for me. So I'm gonna have to figure out what that is, but um, not too important. Google Earth, the fun little tool where you can zoom in anywhere on Earth from a satellite. Google Collections. Now, Google Collections is a glorified Pinterest. Google Collections doesn't work on the desktop, but if you download the Google app on your 
Android or smartphone, then you will be able to access this function where you can actually bookmark websites into a specific category so that you can keep everything organized. Say you wanted to create like a recipe folder, you could go to all the different recipe websites and you can bookmark all of them and it will go straight into a food collection right here. And that is um, a really neat function, but it's only for um, you know smartphones and iOS devices. Google Podcasts, inside Google Podcasts, you'll see um, a lot of different uh, podcasts here. Office Ladies, I personally love this show and podcast, but you can access free podcasts inside of the Google Podcast. Google Travel, <clears throat> Google Travel offers amazing rates, hotels, flights, uh, rental cars, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, better prices than a lot you'll find online. So go ahead and let's just type in, let's go to Cancun. Now, obviously it's restricted travel right now, but inside of Google travel will be listed activities that you can do under things to do, flights. So we can find flights here as well. We can track the prices if we want. We can go to hotels. We can find hotels within Cancun that are inside our price range. We have vacation rentals. So if you're looking to get something a little bit more exclusive, um, we got penthouses up here uh, for really good looking prices. And uh, you can go ahead and find something that you know suits your fancy. But, uh, but yeah, that's the Google Travel perk. And Google Classroom. Google Classrooms is a great perk to have when you have employees or associates that you need to essentially sit in front of you like a class where you teach them and do real life presentations on a whiteboard where you can do essentially the same things as the other perk where you can create text, sticky notes, create, um, you can write, all that good stuff. And then when we go to more for um, Google Workspace, there are so many add-ons for Google Workspace. It's unreal. You can have add a dial pad so you can make phone calls and uh, you can just kind of scroll through all of these. There's so many different perks. You can even get a Zoom for Gmail if the meet does not work for you. And there's unlimited amounts of add-ons. The add-ons just make Google Workspace stand out from the rest of the business platforms out there because you can literally go to any of these different um, sections when we get into uh, uh, the sales and, and CRM systems, there's a ton of different CRMs that you can use here to kind of keep track of your clients, keep track of everything that you need uh, to, to have in front of you for your business as far as your clients go. So that being said, like Google, it just stands out from the rest with all of these different perks. There's no wonder why Google is the go-to and my highest recommendation for building your business, all right? So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming on this tour with me. I hope you saw the value in what Google Workspace has to offer to you. And working within Google Workspace just streamlines and organizes everything that you need to build a million dollar business and a million dollar brand. And if you do it any other way, good luck to you, but <laughs> Google Workspace is the way to go. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to create a beautiful website through Google Sites. And we're gonna break down everything, including the contact forms, including links and all of that stuff that you can put inside of your website to create more traction, to create more income, all the good stuff. We're gonna be doing that tutorial next video. So stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. Peace. Hey, what's going on fellow entrepreneurs? If you found this video helpful in your business building journey, you know exactly what to do. But in addition, I wanted to invite you exclusively to our private Facebook group, Business Builders, where we go more in depth with mentoring entrepreneurs and professionals just like yourself to build the business they don't need a vacation from. And for the price of two cups of coffee, you get exclusive access to me, to our team, and to additional exclusive resources that aren't available to the rest of the general public. And we're gonna make sure that we help you in every aspect and every step of the way to build a business of your dreams. So for more information on this Facebook group to get more mentorship on building your business, go to speculosolutions.com and we'll have everything listed out there for you. Look forward to seeing you inside. Until then, you have a beautiful rest of your day.